Hollywood One Nine Nine One One. I have sort of an epistemological question. I understand that you consider your ethics absolute. Is this correct? The gentleman said he understands that you consider your ethics absolute. I don't know what he means by the word in that context. Would he define, please? You mean absolute or ethics? What do you mean by absolute ethics? Do you consider them to be absolutely or completely demonstrated? Yes. Pro provable. Provable? Yes. Uh, deductively or inductively? Both. Both. Yep. Oh, and then I would, if, if they're proved inductively, could you comment on uh, oh, Hume's uh, objection to the inductive inference? That is not a question which one can answer in five minutes. Have you answered this anywhere in print? No, uh, except indirectly. If you read the Objectivist newsletter for the past four years, you will find references to it. Uh, well, uh, or, for a brief reference, I will suggest you read the title essay of For the New Intellectual, where I discuss Hume and other philosophers, but very briefly. However, that might give you an indication. To One cover the question right now, I will say that Hume's fallacy is the fact that he was waging a war against man's conceptual ability, against the conceptual level of man's consciousness. Hume did not recognize the validity of forming concepts, and therefore he is guilty of the worst contradiction. He is using concepts in order to prove that concepts cannot exist and are not valid and do not give us knowledge of reality. That's uh, one for a quick, very brief answer. If you one want. other quick question. Any ethical statement is an imperative. It's like a statement, go close the door, it's a command. Look, that has already... How can you prove a command? That viewpoint is uh, already passé. You are quoting as a fact a school of thought which is already discredited and which I, for one, never shared. Who discredited it? It is sheer nonsense to assert uh -huh. that uh, value propositions have no bearing or no connection to reality. Here I would say you better read the objectivist ethics as a pamphlet or as the lead article in The Virtue of Selfishness in which I tell you on what facts of reality I base my ethics. I cannot repeat the proof for you here except to indicate it. The statement refers to reality. It uh -huh. refers to an appraisal, an evaluation, a choice but between alternate courses. Courses where, in reality, man has to survive by means of making choices. And it is the requirement of his nature, qua man, qua rational being, that sets the terms, that defines what kind of rules, what kind of moral code he should accept if he is to survive. It is the nature of a living entity that determines its particular code of values. Miss Rand, is ethics the province of whims? What are ethics? Ethics is a code of values, a code of good and evil, or right or wrong, that directs man's choices and actions, the kind of fundamental choices and actions which determine the course of his life. That's my definition. Is it is it tied up with personal emotions and social edicts? It is not. Religion? No, it is based on reason. I see. Sir, thank you very much for your call. Thank you. Good night.